Good morning! We are in Milos. I am so excited to be here. We, well, Jake actually arrived yesterday around midday, so he arrived way before me, and then I didn't actually arrive until it was until 7.35, but it didn't end up being, like, I didn't get in until, I think, like, 8.45, so we just reunited after being apart for two weeks and we had a really cute little dinner and catch up just in town so i didn't bother vlogging any of that but today is our first full day in milos we have three full days here which i'm really excited about there is so much to do here so many beautiful beaches to go and explore we're starting it off strong with a break day today so we're going to go to cleftico and a few of the other really beautiful beaches and i'm really excited to go and explore i'm feeling so much better today i was feeling so tired yesterday just from drinking alcohol honestly guys i rarely drink so when i go on trips and i have a night out i just it ruins me honestly so i end up having two nights out in mykonos um and even then i was like back by one or whatever but honestly just makes me so tired and then obviously being on the ferry yesterday the ferry went for four hours and it was pure chaos i've never experienced anything like it the waves were huge hitting the ferry but you're going so fast that you're sort of missing the waves but you were still like moving around so much i did thankfully take a motion sickness tablet before i got on but it actually has like a drowsy effect to it so all in all i was just like really tired yesterday so i'm glad i'm feeling more like myself today because there's honestly nothing worse than feeling like a dulled down version of yourself but i'll show you guys our accommodation we obviously slept in here last night I'll give you guys a little tour of our place it's honestly such a perfect size it's really nice and big and spacious jake is just outside on the balcony on a call he has so much work to get done while we're here so he's just getting some of that done this morning but this is the bed it's really nice and comfy and then you come up here and there's a little kitchenette area and it's honestly just such a perfect size. There's a little stove top, there's pots and stuff. There's also, this was here on our arrival and it had like some cookies and stuff, coffee station. And then there was also some Greek yogurt and stuff here as well when we arrived, but Jake already hopped into that. Then we have a full length mirror, which I am so happy about. This has been the first place since being in Europe where we've had a full length mirror. Should honestly be compulsory for outfit checks. I'm just wearing this new Cali Swim. This is coming once I get back from Europe um, for our boat day today. And then just my Cali Swim sarong, of course. Honestly, the perfect holiday staple. And then if you come up this way, we have our wardrobe area, which is nice. And then this is the bathroom. It's really nice and modern. This mirror is gorge. And then... We just have the bathroom, like the bath and the, sorry, not bath, shower. Come into the fruit shop to get some snacks for the boat. What do we get? We got some watermelon, watermelon, watermelon and like a mixed, and mixed one. One, two, three. We just Incredible. drove in and swam through that cave right there. And then we came back through this cave. It's so beautiful here. The water is stunning. This is Clifton Cove. We just stopped at this beautiful location to eat some of our food. And that's the beach there where people climb down the ladder to get to the beach. And there's like a line of people at the top. So funny. It's like people have been throwing their stuff down. Yeah. We've just come to uh, Euros Milos for some lunch. Jake got a little bit <laughs> burned, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it's from the um, being on the bike. And then, well, I guess on the boat as well because you can present 
silly, but we've got sunscreen on now and he has a long sleeve shirt. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this for lunch. I've heard really good things. Even the guy um, that was our skipper today told us to come here for lunch. I don't know what we ordered, but we obviously ordered the wrong thing. When I was in Mykonos, we just ordered a Euros. And it's just come out like this. Like there's Peter underneath there, but it's not what we were after. Jake's really sad. Please excuse the state of my lashes. They are looking a little bit scraggly. Usually they last a little bit longer than this, but because I've been doing lots of swimming, I feel like they have just really had a hard time on the outside there um but it's okay we're on holidays i really wish there was a way to just remove them at some point during this trip because that would be amazing i do have some strip lashes or like individual lashes in case i need them but i know you're not supposed to do that so we'll have to wait and see i'm just gonna try and hold out for as long as possible we had the most incredible day today we Went out with a boat company and they took us out from 9 till 2 and we went and looked at all of the beautiful beaches around Miller. So we went to Cleftico and a few other beaches. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce the names. They're all of the main ones though and they were honestly so insanely stunning. The water in Greece is a different type of water, I swear. It is so crystal clear and beautiful and we just had the nicest day today. So that was just the best way to start our first day in Miller's such a nice day we did get a little bit burnt though um just because it's so much windier here than like when we were in italy for example so when we we're out in the sun in italy it was really really hot like you couldn't be in the sun for longer than an hour without feeling it whereas here because it's windy you don't really feel it as much so you don't notice until you're back we have been applying lots of sunscreen but you need to do it so frequently it's actually crazy and also because the like sand and everything is so white and all of the rocks um i feel like it just like reflects all of the sun onto you so definitely applying extra sunscreen the rest of the trip um but yeah it was a really nice day we got some fruit this morning took that out on the boat and then came back had some lunch we went to euros of milos and we accidentally ordered the wrong thing we didn't order like the pita we ordered like this plate and we are so full still but we've just gotten ready to head out to dinner because yeah we've just been chilling in the um, room just for a few hours getting some work done and uh, we figured we may as well go out for dinner i think we're gonna go to ohamos i've heard amazing things about it there the menu's all handwritten and it's meant to just be really really beautiful so we're gonna go there for dinner tonight and i'm really craving something sweet all of a sudden so i really want dessert somewhere and there's quite a few dessert shops around here so I will definitely get something good, I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. And then, yeah, we're just going to drive the ATV to dinner. Little fit check for dinner. I'm just wearing a little white bodycon dress and then my tan Hermes slides. And do you want to show them your outfit? Um, we've got basic white girl sambas. Mm -hmm. um, pleated <laughs> shorts from Unsure. Uh, a singlet from Cos. It's like a women's one mm -hmm. and then this Vaucluse exclusive like shirt that my friend gave to me before I left. Yeah, so um, his friend Keanu yep. um, owns a brand called Vaucluse and he makes these shirts and he's releasing them for summer, is it? Yeah, yeah. summer in Australia. So Amazing. That'd be sick. It's so um, nice. It has like a yeah. red like like red writing across the front with the Feel blue like contrast. It's crazy. So um, nice. Gucci Sunnies and New York fitted. Can you read Greek? Yeah. <laughs> The whole menu is written in. Nah, surely there's a like English part. <laughs> Let's go to the English part. Oh, yeah? Wait, no, it's French. Oh? <laughs> Guys, it's so cute here. We found the English version and it has a little like story at the start. So cute. Our tavern is a family business since February 1993. I'll start my story. So cute. I'm gonna have to read that. And then, oh, it keeps going. This is so sweet. And then here's the menu. So we're gonna have a look and see. We kind of feel like something fresh. We've got saganaki cheese and a Greek salad. It's so delicious and fresh. Jake got 
we ended up getting lamb. lamb. Yeah, yep. we got lamb, and then I just got this eggplant. It's like eggplant with beef mince inside it, and then there's grated cheese on top. It looks really yummy. Good morning. It is our second full day in Milos today. We end up having the nicest day yesterday. We obviously went out in the boat, and then we went to Ohamos for dinner. There was like an hour long wait, but it was definitely worth it. The vibes there were really, really nice. The staff and service were really good and the food was amazing as well and really well priced as well. There was so many Aussies there as well. Um, and so many people like waiting to go there. So that's why we waited. Yeah, we were already there. So we're like, we may as well just wait. And it was really nice. Jake got the, what did you get? The yeah. lamb chops? Yeah. yeah. And then we just shared a Greek salad. We got the Greek salad with no cheese though because we wanted to get saganaki as well and just like double cheese would have been way too much for us. And then I got the like roasted eggplant with mince and it was really, really yummy as well. It was honestly so perfect. And then we just came home and crashed. By that point it was 10 o'clock at night. So we went to sleep. Also in Europe, um, they all just have like this really thin sheet. So I was freezing last night. And I woke up in the middle of the night so cold, but I knew Jake would get too hot if I turned the aircon off. So I just went and grabbed a robe, put it on, and then yeah. fell asleep in the robe, which was so horrible, to be honest. And then this morning, I found a full thick blankie hiding behind the robes. So at least I have that for tonight. But yeah, that was... I had a little bit of a bad sleep, to be honest, because of that. But that's okay. We are heading to... I just don't even bother trying to pronounce the names because I just know I'm going to butcher them. Saren. Saren. Do you have it there up on your phone? No. Okay, I think this is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to butcher it, but Saren Kiko Beach. Does that sound about right? It's Sorry. probably wrong. That's like probably the Australian way of saying it. Um, definitely not with any Greek twang to it, but. That's all right, we're gonna head there this morning. And then we're honestly just gonna browse around the island. I think we will go somewhere for lunch and then we'll probably head to another beach for the afternoon. And then we will go out for dinner tonight. And then we have another full day tomorrow. I also went for a walk this morning and spotted a grocery store. So I think we're gonna go there now and get some water. And then I also got, I saw like a camera phone shop as well. So I bought like a water housing thing for my phone as well. And we also came across like a juice bar and like all these other things. So might even stop in and get a smoothie or a juice or something as well, we'll see. But honestly, a lot of the islands have everything you need. I was really worried before traveling that I wouldn't be able to find, oh, I also got Nurofen as well. So yeah, there's pharmacies everywhere, convenience stores or grocery stores everywhere as well. You get fruit, water, everything you need. They have basically, so you're in the clear there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go now. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Another day, another bikini. I'm just wearing the exact same bikini that I had on yesterday, but in the black colorway. So this is actually part of the stock if you've been keeping up with the vlogs that basically got lost at sea. So I wasn't able to do the shoot before I came to Europe. And then the stock arrived literally a week after I got to Europe. So the photo shoot is gonna have to wait until I'm back home in Australia, but at least you guys can get your hands on some new Cali sweaters ready for Australian summer. I'm so obsessed with the fit of these bikinis. So basically it's just a new style of top. So we sold out of our support top and I wanted to obviously restock it, but I wanted to do something a little bit new and improved. So we've done a new style. So it's just got that same sort of level of support. It's just got thicker straps and obviously it is a different style, but just the same sort of vibe. And I love the fit that we have for this style, honestly, it's amazing. You may have seen some similar on the market, but ours is honestly, it's Cali Swim, of course, so it's just better naturally, but we have the straps sort of more so out towards the sides, and I feel like it's just a really flattering shape and silhouette, and I just love this bikini so much. And then we're just restocking the Intuition bottoms. They're honestly just such a staple, and I'm obsessed with them. All of our white styles are also triple the thickness. I feel like you can really tell when you're wearing it. It's a really crisp, thick, solid white and it doesn't go see-through either but yeah this is today's bikini of the day i'm into the grocery store to get some water and the water we had a slight diversion on the way here
insane than I had envisioned it to be after seeing everyone's content of it online. It is so beautiful. There's so many just like hidden nooks from up there. Jake's up there, he's gonna go in. Skill and brave. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so nervous for him. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! How was that? That was fun. Yeah? Did it feel much higher? Is it a washing machine? <laughs> Do a little jump. We just stopped in here to get Jay just got a coffee and then we also just got a smoothie bowl to share. It's like a chopped banana bowl. And there's like a piece of peanut butter on Ooh, top, cacao and it's so good. Success, we managed to finally order the right thing. And we have Eros. We got the order. Yay! Finally. Yeah, chicken zibaki yeah. on a pita. Yeah, we stuffed up before, but I'm excited to see if you like it. Can you give it a whirl? This is also so much cheaper than what we were ordering. We really stuffed up. What I was ordering was... Yeah, I know, it's so cheap. It's just like an easier mouthful. Is the sauce good? It is delicious. Yeah. This is that little ATV, by the way, guys. She's really cute. I love her. Arrived at Viripotamus Bay area or town, I don't really know. Um, but we're about to head down. We have a short dorm. decided to put some makeup on tonight because we're gonna go out for dinner we're gonna go to I think it's pronounced Nosto's restaurant it's a restaurant on the water down in Milos and Jake is already come on yay we're excited date night big date very, night very it's overdue excited it's been two weeks two weeks two weeks too long weeks. and then when we meet up it's usually we're working so yeah so it's nice. a nice change it is and we had the nice we make the effort to try and look Dressed nice, up and cute, nice make other. some effort. We love that. I feel like it keeps the spark alive. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah you look so tall. Um, so yeah, we're going there for dinner, and then we're actually kind of matching in our oh, neutrals, yep. neutral colors. We try our best to match. No, we don't. He's lying. Um, but we had the nicest day. We went to that beach Sarah this morning. Nichols. Yes, I feel like that was a really good job. You just got to own it. You, you get I know, too shy I when get you try really and shy when trying to pronounce anything. Not just foreign things, like anything. And then, I just, I'm not confident. I need yeah, to be confident gotta, and no one will question it. Go for it. Yeah, so we, uh, yeah, we did that this morning and it was so beautiful. I feel like the photos just don't even do it justice. No. It is so stunning and we had the most amazing time. It literally looks like a different planet. I know, it doesn't even seem real. And then we were like jumping in off the rocks, which is really fun. Yep. And it actually, I feel like the footage, it looks really. Doesn't look, like, like it doesn't look like it's that high, high, but it's so high. It's high. Yeah. It's definitely high. I was very proud of Jake because he uh, is usually, well, I feel like you're way better now, but you used to be such a scaredy cat of heights. Yeah. Um, but I used to be the worst. But he went like just, higher than me. Yeah, yeah. I just had to go for it. Yeah, you did. And I was, I was very like, proud of you. What kind of a grown man lets his girlfriend jump before him? Like, <laughs> that's just not a. Because, like, not our a whole on. life, I would always, like, go in first. I'm like, it's fine, babe. Like, come on, let's go. I suck. Yeah, because me no, and my brother, like, grew up now. doing that sort of stuff, I feel. So, I yeah, I'm proud it. of you. You did it. <sighs> yeah, mission accomplished. And then we came back and we went and got some food. We, where did we go? We went to that smoothie we went to bar the US place. place again. Before oh, that, okay, yeah, we went and, we got, went and got a smoothie bowl. bowl, and it was so good. We got like a chocolate peanut butter bowl, and had like peanut, uh, sorry, peanut butter, and, um, banana chips. Banana chips. Oh, I've never had delicious. banana chips, and that was so good. So we had that. We just like shared that, and then we tried Euros again. Finally got our order right. Yep. You loved it. Yeah, I loved it. It was it, so you good. You got to get the chicken souvlaki. Yeah. Open. 
So it's like the Rather chunkier the chicken. Chicken? Like yeah. Your is usually shaved. And the sauce that was with it was really yum. It wasn't yeah. tzatziki. It was like some other sauce. We were both saying it kind of reminded us of like KFC. It does. It was really good. So that was yeah, from Euros of Milos. That was the yeah. name of that place. And then we went to... At home? No. What? I can't pronounce oh, it again. Oh, um, Firopotamus. I think that's how you say yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to roll with it. Um, it's either so Firopotamus or Firopotamus. Something like that. Let's and the drive there was so nice. So beautiful. Because you come around like down the back and then mm. you can see all it's the like white. It's windy. Um, like the mountains. Buildings and shit. So beautiful. So we went there and that was really cute. Um, and such a nice little area. And again, I feel like photos don't do that place justice either. I feel like yeah. it was so much more beautiful than... Way more. It Way more beautiful than I was photos. expecting. What are you doing? Trying to work out how to get a photo? Like, oh, we're gonna go to this little fishing market, and I was like, yeah, it was sounds like, terrible. Because Jake doesn't know like any, like he hasn't researched or anything, anything yeah. that we have planned. So I've just been just like, oh, we're doing ride. this, yeah. And then he just comes and I along. I trust Ali. She's she's usually the pro. <laughs> Thank you. She's a serial planner. I am. I am. Anyways, we're gonna go off to dinner now. We're gonna walk there because I don't want to. Well, first of all, everything in Milos is actually so close way closer than I realized, which is amazing. It's so good. It doesn't take you long to get anywhere. So we're going to walk because we like walking back and like walking off our food as well. Mm. And also I don't want to put a helmet on to jump in an ATV as well when I have a full face of makeup and my hair done. So oh, can't, have that. can't have that. And safety is first when on ATV. Do a little fit check. Just wearing this <laughs> dress from Meshki. Do you want to come in? It's very sunny. Cute. They're kind of matching. Yeah, like you gotta, go, neutral gotta go the neutrals. Vibes. Cute. This is our dinner spot. Overlooking the water. This looks so good. I got the chicken with vegetables and it looks amazing. And Jake got the steak with a red wine juice. It looks delish. Not bad experience. Smell good? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's red wine. It's red wine. This is your little tip if you come to Milo Skies to not just look at the main little like court area for dinner spots walk down a little bit and head to the area we just were because there's so many beautiful little restaurants all along that strip especially and the food sunset. looks really good yeah especially at sunset but yeah, yeah the food, food all looked insane. really nice that everyone was eating so definitely recommend doing that and I feel like a lot of them don't really have Instagram, so it's like hard to know about them yeah, prior to coming. Um, but yeah, there's actually so many, so just go for a little wander. But also they don't really like come alive until the sun has gone down a little bit. So like it doesn't look Which like there's much happening. Eight o'clock. Yeah, it's eight o'clock at night. night. It's insane. Yeah, so it doesn't really seem like there's like that much happening happening along that strip, like when the sun's still out. Um, but yeah, I feel like oh, it's quite amazing. vibey. It's also, all my lipstick that was is like off. one of the best spots we've sat at. Yeah, that was really nice. So we're gonna go down along that strip for dinner tomorrow night. But we're just heading, I'll actually show you guys. So we're just walking in this direction now. So here is the port area and then Adamantus. Yep. Um, Cause I really want a crepe. I'm craving a crepe. <laughs> so this is where we came for dinner the first night, but it's mostly just like Euros and stuff, not like actual restaurant yeah. food. So back in the other direction that we just came from is where all the restaurants are. But this is like such a cute little area still as well. And then this is the main area. So this is where we had lunch today and yesterday as well. And then apparently there is like a dessert. Um, like cafe thing, like dessert place. This is the dessert store we're going to and it is so incredible in here. They have so many options. They have all of these cute little desserts here and then these baked goods which all look amazing. And then they also have like crepes and waffles and then also a heap of different gelato flavors. Guys, I am so excited. I ended up getting, well we were just gonna get ice cream so we were going to get two scoops of ice cream each and then she was like are you dining in and we said yes 
so she asked us to sit down so they could place our order and then they brought us menus and then I lost all self-control so I ordered a waffle with um, Nutella, strawberries, what else, ice cream and Oreo crumble. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I'm so excited. And then Jake just got some ice cream, two little scoops. Yum. This is a really good one. Is it? Mm hmm. Is yeah. it happy? Very. Is it soft? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm just wearing the exact same swim I had on yesterday because we're going back to Serenkiko Beach because I'm going to shoot some of the Kelly swim stuff. Yesterday was more Serenkiko. Oh, I tried to say it so confidently and I. St <laughs> Guys, I hate myself so much. This is definitely a bad trade of mine. I'm so sorry. Um, so we're going there this morning because yesterday was more of a fun just wholesome day but this morning I want to shoot some content in this swim so that's what we're going to go and do and then we're also going to go to a, another beach afterwards I think it's called Fair and Placa I, I feel like I'm like missing a few letters in there something along those lines and it looks really beautiful as well so we're going to go there and then I think we're going to come back and get a smoothie bowl for lunch because honestly that smoothie bowl yesterday was so good are you okay? Oh yeah, the door handle keeps coming off in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. We need that smoothie bar. That's yeah, good. I'm so excited. Well, you're gonna have to wait a few hours still. Um, do you wanna show us your little fit check? Come on, Dan. You can it. stand there if you want. It's a little oh. bit today. Yeah. Sharp Mercy sunglasses. You wear fitted. Some vintage Iverson jersey. Very nice. These sweats, denim utility shorts mm. or shorts, and then just sandals. Very nice. I like it. Bag from Arcteryx. Perfect. Thank you so much for that. It's our little comb, by the way. And then the main pool is like just on the left. This is a parking area, and they even have this little food truck here. There's like ice creams, hot dogs, alcohol, any food. And then down here is where the actual beach area is. And it's not that far of a walk. It's only like, what, like two minutes, three yeah. minutes? Yeah. Super close. How cool is this little like cave? Do you think someone's made this? Surely they would have had to. Oh, up we go. I don't want to slip. Someone would have had to have made that. Surely. It's so cool. Yeah, they would have because it's like fully like built in. Yeah. Whoa. It smells like piss in here. Really? Yeah. yeah, we're sat here on the stairs of a random Can't wait. hotel. <laughs> that smells great. Jake got an acai bowl and I got the same yesterday. So good. Very excited. That's what's fresh. We made it and I feel like this is the perfect time to come with the sun. I mean, honestly, it would be perfect at any time, but how pretty is this? Nice. Such a nice time to come, I think. So we actually stopped by this when we were on the boat the other day, but we didn't end up like stopping in to swim because he told us um, to just come, yeah, by bike. Please excuse the mess behind me. That is just some stuff that I need to shoot. We ended up going to Fura Placa Beach today. Honestly, I probably butchered that, but it was so beautiful. It's a little bit further than the other beaches, but definitely worth the drive. It is so stunning there, and we had the nicest time. We just relaxed, read the usual. I feel like such a broken record when I say we're going to the beach because I just say we're doing the exact same thing because we are every single time, but it was still really, really nice. Um, and then we honestly came back and got a heap of work done. So nothing too exciting, um, but we've just gotten ready for dinner. We're going to head back down to the waterfront where we went last night and look for somewhere to eat for dinner tonight. And then we're going to head to, um, we're going to head back to that really beautiful like 
Mars Vibe Beach for sunset because I want to shoot some sunset content there um, just because I feel like it's a really pretty location. We'll obviously like watch the sunset as well but I really want to make the most of that location there because honestly it is so beautiful and I'm going to shoot I think like one or two of those looks so it's going to be really nice and yeah I'm really excited to eat actually I'm starving. All we've had today was the smoothie bowls so I am ravenous to say the least. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing as well really quickly. I'm just wearing um, this little dress. It's just from Meshki again. I honestly got so many cute little pieces from Meshki and then just my Hermes slides. And then I'm just going to take my Kogaya clutch. I'm obsessed with this clutch. As you guys know, it's just so big and it just fits everything in there. And I feel like this is a really cute little outfit. Yay. Just come to this cute little restaurant for an early dinner late good. lunch yep. situation we just have some starters we got some bread some tamaslada and hummus saganaki cheese and a greek salad as well and then we just got some meat for our main so i think we're going to save the salad to have with that but this is the view from here it's really really cute just of the port again so where we had dinner last night was just a few restaurants down. For our mains, we just got some meatballs to share. I didn't realize it came with fries and then some lamb with potatoes and just some calamari to share as well. Good morning guys. We are checking out today. I'm so sorry. I can't remember what I last vlogged. I feel like yesterday was a little bit of a mess, but my camera actually ended up dying. So that is why. And we just ended up enjoying our last night. We were checking out today and I'm so sad to be leaving, but I am really excited to be going to Santorini. Santorini has been up there on my bucket list since forever i'm a little bit nervous i feel like it doesn't really have very good reviews um but i feel like it's because of the food mostly maybe like from what i can see there's not that many good food options so i don't know if that's why um but i'm still excited to go and experience it for myself anyway it's another beautiful day here in milos we have a uh, travel day today my least favorite thing ever but i am really grateful that it's only a short ferry ride away compared to the transit here which was really chaotic um but all in all we absolutely loved milos it is such a beautiful island or place and we would definitely recommend adding it to your bucket list jake's just gone to drop the atv back by the way so he's gone to do that now hot tip as well we just had to pay 100 euros that's why he's gone but to fix the like the the box that sits on the back because um, when we went down the wrong road to get to the San Kiko or however you pronounce it beach the other day we went down the wrong road when we were following Apple Maps and it was so rough that apparently that broke the box so we have to pay 100 euro to fix the box so they just came and told us that so jake's just gone down to pay for that so that's a little bit of a sting and a little hot tip if you do come here but aside from that it is so beautiful here we would absolutely recommend this accommodation as well it was honestly so perfect and i feel like you don't need like a pool vibe when you're in millers because there's so many amazing beautiful beaches to go and explore and it's in a really good spot as well so basically the main port is right near like the main town called adamantis i think i'm pronouncing that right and that's where all the main restaurants and everything are and then we can walk there from here it's only like three to five minutes it's super close so i definitely recommend staying in this area um and then all of the really beautiful beaches are only like a 10 to 20 minute atv ride away anyway so at least you're really nice and central to all of the shops and restaurants and whatnot and then you can sort of venture out for the day and then come back and be in a nice little town a little vibey town i will link this accommodation for you guys as well thank you so much for watching though i hope you found some of this video helpful if you have been wanting to add milos to your bucket list i love you guys so so much and i will see you in santorini